Hi ladies, this is Carla and welcome to my channel. For Christmas in July, I'm going to share with you an absolutely adorable idea. Um, last year, after my craft fairs, I went to the Dollar Tree and I found these really cute tins. So I'm going to share those with you. One of them, this is one of them. Look at the cute designs on the sides, little candies, ornaments. There's one. And the, look at this one. All the little campers. Is that not adorable? Look at that. And the top with the little candy stripes. The other one, this is cute. All the Christmas trees. Festive Noel says winter on there. Cute. And then the one we're going to be doing a um, project with today, I'm going to use this one. Look how adorable this one is also. It has little cups, looks like maybe hot chocolate. It could be coffee in some of those. So that's the one we're going to use today. And I'm going to try to keep this out of the light so it won't glare on the inside of that. Okay, got those put away. Now, last year and the year before, I had done the same project. Uh, the first year I did it, I made a dozen and I sold 11. Last year I made it and I made 10 and I sold every one of them. Now last year they didn't get these tins in until after I'd already had my craft fair. So they did get in a, another container. It was more of a plastic round. You may have seen those and it had a lid to it and they were cute too. I'll have to say either one would work just fine. And what I did with these is I turned them into a little kit. And as many of you know, many of us love to watch the Hallmark Christmas movies. I know I do, and I know they're showing them now for Christmas in July. And so a couple of years ago, I came up with the idea to make little Hallmark movie Christmas kits. So that's what these are going to be. So let's take off the lid. And I got some shred from the Dollar Tree. This is the red and green. And I'm gonna add that in there. That's some that I already had. And then for one of the first items I put in there was a package of popcorn. You gotta have popcorn when you're watching a movie. Another thing I put in there was a package of Starbucks um, white chocolate latte, or they also make the mocha latte. And I went to the store to get some to kind of add to this. But the ones they had, they expired like in a month or so, and I didn't want to buy a lot that I, you know, knew would expire before it was time to make these. So that goes in there also. And then I went to Sam's, and you can get a box of these little prepackaged Milano Pepperidge Farm dark chocolate cookies, and there's two in a package, so I add those. And I don't know about you guys, but when I watch these movies, I get a little teary-eyed. Do you do the same? I mean, there's always that moment when you're just like, oh my goodness. And so I put in a little package of tissues to have. And then I also put in a pair of little Christmas socks. Now, it just depends on what I can find at the time. These are more neon colors more so than the red and the greens but you know it's just whatever you can find and i got these actually last year after christmas at tuesday morning there's like three in a package and i don't know what i paid for them but i know they were 3.99 before 
Christmas, so I'm not sure what I paid for those after Christmas. But you get three pair, and they're, they're really soft, really comfy, just perfect for cuddling up with your throw and your popcorn and your tissues and your cup of coffee to get ready for a movie. So what I also do with these little socks is I try to tie a little bow around them. Now, I would suggest that when you're tying your bow that you try to keep these as flat as possible because before you know it, your tin is going to fill up and it's going to be kind of hard to keep the lid on it. But we're going to have a little solution to that also. So I just tie this in a little bow. I tried to pick a ribbon kind of to coordinate with it. If it was red and green, I would probably be using the red and green ribbon. All right, let's pull that down a little bit and work with that a little bit. And I've already used my lighter to singe the ends of that so it won't fray. So next you just want to lay this in. Now you've got that all packaged in. Next thing you want to do is get the lid. Okay, you're going to put the lid back on. And I'm, I'm hoping my light isn't giving you a big glare with that. So to help hold that on, I've got some ribbon here. And you don't need a lot. I'm not going to make a bow with this. I've already made a really cute bow to go on the top. So with this... I'm basically just going to make a knot. So I'm gonna lay this underneath the tin. I'm gonna push the lid down. And then I'm going to just pull it up and tie it in a knot, just enough to secure that top on there. All right, that down. Bring this around. Put it under there. Tie it in knot. There you go. And you can just leave those tails on there. I don't think they're too long. We'll see when we put the other bow on. If they're too long, we can snip those off. But I think they'll be okay. And this is the bow I made. This is called a funky bow. I don't know if any of you have made a funky bow, but I'm gonna do a tutorial on that to show you how to make this cute, adorable little bow. And so what we're gonna do with that is I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm gonna put that right on the center of that. You know, actually, I think I'm gonna put my tag on first. Okay, let's do that. For the tag, I went in on my Cricut, and first I cut out of, um, first I cut out a green metallic matte kind of starburst shape. And if you had a scallop, you could, you know, just make one out of that. And then I printed out the contents. I always like to include the contents. So if people can't, you know, see in there to see everything that's in there, they will know. And I usually put the brand on there so they know, you know, it's, it's a nice little gift and people would appreciate it. So then we just need to put this together. I'm gonna use my glue. Put glue on the back of this. And then just attach this. And then here's the clincher. <laughs> Two years ago, I went on to Etsy and I found these printables. And I picked the one that says, all I want to do is eat Christmas cookies, drink coffee, and watch Hallmark movies. Okay, so that's what I've been using on mine, and that's why I've been adding the coffee in there. However, I do remember, I know they made other ones, and I know there was one that was either drink hot chocolate or hot cocoa rather than the coffee. And I'm going to go back and try to find that because if you wanted to, you could put, you know, hot cocoa packs, get a nice little package, single package of hot cocoa, 
and put in there and that would be really cute as well. So I'm gonna put this on the front. And at first I thought I would just glue this onto the bow, but then the more I thought about it, you know, that would make it really hard to see the contents if it's glued onto the bow. You really couldn't get it up. So instead of gluing it to the bow, we're gonna take a hole punch. I'm gonna hope this hole punch is big enough. I'm gonna take it down through here. I'm gonna try not to get into the actual contents. I know it'll probably get into the word. I hope that goes through. Oh, not a problem. And the red ribbon I had, it, it was, mm, it wasn't really red, red like this. It was more of an orangey red. So I'm just gonna use white. I'm gonna take white and I'm going to just cut it like so. I can always snip it off if it's too much. I'm going to double it up. I'm gonna put it through here. And then pull this through here, like so. And then I'm gonna tie it on here. I'm gonna tie it in a knot, because sometimes in the past, it seems like I lose my tags. I don't know, <laughs> but I don't wanna lose my tag, because then you don't know what's in it or how cute it is, because it's a Hallmark little movie thing. Okay, we'll just tie this in a knot. Maybe. There we go. All right, push that through. Put these apart. See how long that is. That's good. That's not too long. I think that works. I'm gonna trim off these other edges or other parts of the ribbon that are too long. And now we take our little funky bow. I'm gonna put that right on top and you can put this at an angle or anywhere, but I like it hanging off like that on the side. My glue cord won't reach all the way over, so I'm gonna have to come over here, get some glue on there. And I'm gonna put that right on top of the knot. And if I put it just right, I can get that little Hallmark ribbon tag in there. We'll just have it all glued there together. There. Isn't that cute? Now this ribbon, this is the tail. We can bend it up and make it come out a little bit like that. You can fluff these up because it's wire ribbon any way you want. Pull these apart a little bit. And I just think that's adorable. I would like to get a gift like that. So even if you don't get to have a craft fair this, this year, I think those are adorable. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And if you did enjoy this, please hit like and subscribe. And if you have any comments you would like to leave below, I will read those and try to get back with you on those. So until next time, bye-bye.